This is Twit. Now, let me ask Sarah this. How important is market capitalization as a way to judge a company? It seems like a number that the press might like. I think it's very important. Is it? It is to me. Okay, well, I'll tell you why. Google tell is me now why. the number two most valuable U.S. company mm -hmm. right after Exxon. Apple briefly uh, passed Exxon, but now is back down. Google number two. Its market capitalization is $395.42 billion. So that's important. Actually, you know, what it's a reflection of is the increased Google stock price, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, there's lots of ways to value a company. You can look at the size or rank them. You can look at revenues. You can look at profits. You can look at the stock price. You can look at ratios. But I like market cap because it's actually what the market values you at. It's, so you think that's valuable? It's, I always feel like the stock market is just kind of like a... A, a, a game. A game. And it that, is to some degree, but I think at the end of the day, you know, of all the different measures, so are revenues. I mean, so, right. are, you know, look at the manipulation that goes on with That's earnings. True. You know, I mean, you, if you decide you want to pick some measure, I would argue that market cap's the best. James Surowiecki in The Wisdom of Crowd says that because it's the crowd, it is more reliable. He even pointed out something very, I thought that was weird, that right before the Challenger disaster, the company that made the O-rings tumbled in the stock market, or no, right after it. Before we figured out why the Challenger blew up, somehow the stock market, the wisdom of the crowds, knew that it was the O-rings, and that company tumbled wow. in the stock market. And, I mean, that could just be weird, or it could be that maybe there is some kind of collective wisdom that the stock market shows. But it's over the long term, not over the short term, right? Yeah, I mean, you, you know, the day-to-day -day fluctuations of market cap are meaningless. Right. But I think to say that Google is the number, you know, the second most valued company in in the, in this world that we live in is, is reasonable. Is, is, is reasonable. Actually, yeah. that's a good way to put it. Not the second most valuable company, the second most valued, valued by the market. Right. Now, what about the cash The cash hoards at Google and, it's and, number and two Twitter now. are already, yeah. and, and, and Apple are already included in that price? Yeah, I mean, if you're an investor, one of the things you're looking at is how much cash are they sitting on right. and, and how, how have much, they deployed it? How do I get that? And how have they, yeah, and how have they deployed it previously? Mm -hmm. How good are they at if it? If you're Carl Icahn, how do I get that? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, actually, he's given up because as Apple did a big buyback, $12 billion buyback, and Icon said, uh, ISS said, Never mind. You, you, they need this cash. Don't, don't, don't deplete their cash reserve. So Icon said, well, all right, I'll take that. Yeah. They're going towards $19 billion buyback. Actually, somebody said the other day, if Apple continues at the rate that they're going, they'll, be a, they'll go private in like by 2020. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. <laughs>